know, you couldn't get hand sanitizer if your life depended on it. I mean, you just couldn't buy it anywhere. And here we have in our line of work, you know, we're an engineering construction firm. Uh, so we're out in the field a lot. There's no sinks or soaps, you know, in some of these places. So uh, hand sanitizer, just absolutely crucial. Um, so once I did find out about Black Button and how they were uh, distilling hand sanitizer instead of, you know, alcohol like liquor, um, I immediately latched onto that and, and uh, contacted them and they were able to get us a couple of cases. But then, you know, we had an even bigger problem, which was, you know, it's a distillery, so they bottled their uh, ethanol in their ethanol hand sanitizer in 750 milliliter bottles. So I couldn't hand those out to everybody. So uh, we had, uh, I, I had uh, the good fortune of having an intern from RIT working with me um, till June. So uh, I talked to him and I said, hey, you know, what can we do to get these into miniature bottles? You know, can we order some? And so we started looking at ordering miniature bottles. And if you can believe this, you couldn't even order like miniature spray bottles or anything like that. Because probably everybody had the same idea that, that we had. Um, so we were finally able to find a supplier of uh, airplane, you know, cocktail bottles, like the, the miniature uh, airplane liquor bottles that you get. And uh, we ordered several hundred of those. And uh, yeah, we spent a day and uh, sat six feet apart, three of us in there, uh, filling these bottles up and then labeling them, you know, to, to comply with the OSHA regulation. Uh, and then and then handing them out and when people got those after not having hand sanitizer i mean the there was a general sense of fear amongst some employees i think you had you had two uh extremes you had some people that didn't want to believe this was happening or didn't think that it was that big of a deal and then you had uh, a group that of folks that were just uh, you know, generally scared to come into work and interact with people. And uh, so we had to bring them to the middle. And that's, I think with the hand sanitizer and the little bottles and handing those out, really just, you know, projecting ourselves into the workplace and, and hey, you know, we're here to support you. We're gonna get you the things you need. It's gonna be good. Uh, I think that uh, definitely grew some confidence for folks and they respected that. And so, I mean, I would, I would say uh, that's our our big win, our big success story through all this is making that happen. Um, because we, you know, I personally, I was fearful. I mean, you know, if if you can't order this stuff, what, what can you do? You know, I mean, how can you continue working when you can't effectively protect people? So, I'm I'm glad we were able to do that.